Hey, this is Safli Valley from LickinEarth.com and in this video we're going to learn how to play the Pinky and the Brain theme on guitar. Now, first we're going to watch it. I uploaded it a couple of days ago. It's only 40 seconds long and then we're going to break it down lick by lick. Here it is. Enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so, we begin with this little lick. It's E minor. And then we do a B chord. Now, I do it with the first finger and the third finger. The third finger barring these frets. Because I'm using the second finger before that. Second finger, third and first. It's easier for me to do this. So you can do it differently if you want. You can do it like this. But then you have to cut this note shorter. So this is more economic. It's more fluent, it's more legato than this. Easier for me. You, you don't have to do this. Okay, and then second time around. And then. It's E and B again, only this time just on the bass notes. Okay, E. B. Then E, B again. Only this time it's a full B 7th chord. So E, B 7. Okay? And then it's A minor like this with the second, third, and fourth fingers because you're gonna need the first finger in a second, so... Okay? And then... This is E. So... A minor... First finger... Then the E chord, barring the set the ninth fret. Okay, so twice. Then B7 again. And then it's E minor with a descending uh, line. four times. Three times. I was mistaken. It's only three times. So if you noticed, it's one and five all the way. It's E and B or B7, E minor and B or B7, which is the first chord and the fifth, the dominant chord. <laughs> or the A minor and the E. Okay, it's dominance all the way. It's 1-5-1, one, 1-5-1. Five, one. One, five, one. The one being minor, the fifth chord being major. So that's the main harmony in this composition. So now the B part. The B part is A minor again. 
then E. Again the dominant. So, okay, twice. Then B7 again. B. It's dominant. It's a uh, chromatic. And then again. I slide. You don't have to slide. Okay, and after you do this three times, and then again chromatic, B7, E. I just added this at the end there because this is high E. But again, that's just me, my way of playing things. You don't have to do it, you can just play the melody and make your own interpretation of this composition. There are three things you can do right now. The first one, of course, is to subscribe to my channel and keep updated with all the new lessons I've got to offer. I upload one every couple of days or so, so it's worth it. Why not subscribe and keep updated with every lesson I've got to offer you for free. Now, the second thing, of course, is these lessons are free and will always be free. So the only thing I ask from you is to share them. Share them with people you know, with people you don't know. What do you care? You get better on guitar, they can benefit from other lessons as well. So just let them know that this channel and lickandriff.com is out there and these lessons are available for you and for them and for everybody else to learn and benefit and get better on guitar. Now the third thing I ask you to do is to go practice this and enjoy it and have fun with it and just learn it, play around with it, interpret it, make your own version of it. And if you want, send me a video of yourself playing it. I'd love to see what you've done with this. So go practice and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching.